All right now. Say that. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. It's time. church folks this is DC from the church ladies cooking show and I'm so excited about our new network the church ladies network if you know anyone that has any type of inspirational Christian any type of Christian content we want it we want you on our network so pastors if you have a great sermon you got that next great sermon or soloist or choir that has that next best song we want you on our network make sure that you go to www.thechurchladies1.com and we already have amazing people on our network already we have nathaniel jordan he's the minister of wellness he talks about biblical um, health and wellness and it, it's just amazing content we also have ashley patrick and i know you remember ashley she did our church ladies song the church ladies i know you remember that i love that song is one of my favorite songs but she's on there as well and she has a video called God got me God's got me and it's amazing so you know you need to check it out go to our website at www.thechurchladies1.com and guess what for the entire year of 2020 it's free you can upload your content for free so make sure that you tell everybody about the church ladies network and we can't wait to see you on the network which is growing we're growing 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 by God's grace so we're really really excited and we want you to be excited with us again www.thechurchladies1.com Dot com. So if you have that next song or you got that sha na na or if you got that you got any type of Christian based content, we definitely want it. www.thechurchladies1.com. We can't wait to use your, your content and we can't wait to see you on the next Church Ladies Cooking Show. Hi, I'm Adrian with Reliable Team Media. We are a company that is equipped to do anything concerning photography and video production. We're able to produce commercials, corporate conferences, explainer videos, and many more. We have 20 to 30 years of experience. Our company is based on simply reliability. That means we get it done. Not only do we get it done, but we get it done in a timely, courteous, and efficient manner. We understand there are many video production companies out there, but doing business and doing business the right way are truly two different things. We know there are opportunities out there that need productions, so we work for the customers and their production needs. Reliable Team Media, we care about what we do, especially for you, because together everyone achieves more.
Pastor Frederick. Uh, our church is called Grace Community Fellowship Church. Our mission is connecting people to God, people to people, and churches to churches. And I feel like before you can really connect people to God, people got to connect to people. And how do you do that? You find out what people need. Um, we live in the Fulton Industrial Area. Our church's parish is the Fulton Industrial Area, where there are hotels, uh, motels, people who are staying in extended stays, um, a lot of poverty, a lot of people who live in hotels with their kids don't have the opportunity to cook dinner. So we've been moving through our food pantry nearly 150,000 pounds uh, of groceries to families. And by the way, this is my wife, Miss Margaret. And we hope you can join us. And if you can't, you can always help us. You can text GCFC to, to 77977 or look up our app. It's Grace. It's, uh, what is it? GCFC Church on your app store. And follow us um, at gracecommunityfellowshipchurch.org on our website, and then you can follow us on social media as well. Help us to do the work of Christ. By the way, we are a church. Sunday, Sunday morning service is at 10 o'clock, and we're done about 12, but we know this. The Spirit of the Lord lives in this place, lives around us. We're doing the work that God calls us to do. It's good soil, and we're happy to be here. God bless you, and thank you for uh, taking this time to view this. Blessings. Hi, and welcome to the Church Ladies Cookie Show. I'm Nisi, and I have a very, very special guest with me today. Actually, this guest is actually quite dear to my heart. This is my son. This is my son, Avery. Hi, Avery. Hey. <laughs> I am so glad that I actually, um, well, I, I feel so important because, you know, teenagers, um, you know, they have things to do on certain days, especially when they don't have school. So I'm actually quite honored that he took time out to um, spend a little time with his mom. So um, I have something that I'm sure uh, that he's going to like. He's definitely going to love this dish that we're going to make. But I'm just so happy you're here. <laughs> I know I'm embarrassing them right now, but church folks, I got my baby boy. I got my baby boy here. <laughs> he don't like me to embarrass him, but I have something I know he's going to love. And I think one reason why he uh, decided to join me today, because I'm going to feed him. Yeah, I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> He's already hungry. So I have a, a, a quick dish today. Um, this dish is something that is really, really easy for like teens like Avery to uh, to put together really quick, especially, you know, moms that, that have, you know, a long schedule or dads that have a long schedule and you got teens that are at home, they're always hungry. So, you know, it's something really, really quick that you can put together, you know, as a teen, you know, even, even as an adult, I think, you know, this would be great for Super Bowl. What you think? Uh, yeah, I would eat it on a Super Bowl. <laughs> you know, Super Bowl is coming up, so this is also a great dish for Super Bowl or after school snack before, you know, mom and dad gets home. So, you know, we're definitely going to talk about um, what's in this dish. And what I'm making today is a lasagna pocket. No, I'm not going to put it in my pocket. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not anything that you put in your pocket. However, it is something that's really, really quick. You know, and a lot of kids, they love pasta. They love, you know, anything dealing with a noodle. But I'm going to make it so simple for you guys um, that, you know, you'll be able to make this within, what, maybe 10 minutes? Pop it in the oven. So we're going to get straight to it. I don't like okay. That. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we have and how easy this is. And you probably already have a great deal of these ingredients in your refrigerator, in your cabinet, and it'd be really, really quick for them to fix. Okay. You want to get started? Yeah, let's go. Ahead. All right. What I'm going to tell you about are the ingredients and the ingredients that we have, I did a little um, prepping. So I say maybe about maybe five or 10 minutes prepping. And what I have is just three ingredients, three ingredients, include, not including the noodles. Okay, so what I have here is I have um, spaghetti sauce with turkey meat. Now you can use turkey meat, you can use ground beef, but I prefer to be uh, turkey-tarian today, so we're going to use turkey. Uh, but it's just sp regular spaghetti sauce with uh, turkey meat. Also, I have cheese. Avery's showing the cheese. <laughs> and I like a, a, a mozzarella Col Colby Jack mixture. That's just my preference. You can use all mozzarella you can use any type of cheese that you like but this is my favorite yeah, it actually to me it melts better okay also what I have I have ricotta 
but what I did with my ricotta, I like to season my ricotta and I use just a little bit of um, our magic. For our uh, previous viewers, you know what our magic is. That's a little seasoning that we put in a little bit of everything. A little magic, garlic powder, as well as parsley. And that's all that I season my uh, ricotta with. But the ricotta gives it just blends, gives it a great blend uh, with the lasagna like you would regularly make lasagna in a big pan. Uh, so, let's, I, I don't ricotta, ricotta is like a cheese, you know, and I know sometimes like with, with kids, they just like to, they don't care what's in it. They just want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so most of the time I like, um, with younger kids, I may not use the ricotta. You can use just, um, just the cheese and the meat, but to me, the ricotta just gives it just a great, great taste. So what we're going to do before we get started, we're going to take a quick break. Um, I'm going to get Avery, uh, ready cause he's going to have to work for food today. <laughs> it's got to work for food today. So we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. <laughs> yes, you're going to work for food today. <laughs> I'm Adrian with Alive with Team Media. We are a company that is equipped to do anything concerning photography and video production. We're able to produce commercials, corporate conferences, explainer videos, and many more. We have 20 to 30 years of experience. Our company is based on simply reliability. That means we get it done. Not only do we get it done, but we get it done in a timely, courteous, and efficient manner. We understand there are many video production companies out there, but doing business and doing business the right way are truly two different things. We know there are opportunities out there that need productions, so we work for the customers and their production needs. Reliable Team Media, we care about what we do, especially for you, because together, everyone achieves more. the owner of Miss Movell's Eatery. And she loves to cook. What makes my cooking better than anybody else? Because I cook from the heart. her every stomach growling so we want to go ahead and get started on these um lasagna pockets because i don't think did you eat breakfast this morning i did i made two eggs okay <laughs> you know what it's just like they you know it's just, just ongoing ongoing eating all the time all the time all yeah, the time always. okay well we ready to get started yeah i'm hungry okay totally. all right we're gonna go ahead and get started it's just a, a small <laughs> little assembly um and you can do this with your kids this is so much fun avery's gonna do some work today and what you're gonna start with first I like to start with my uh, my ricotta my ricotta cheese first because it gives I can go ahead and spray it out because it gives the base of the lasagna pocket. So Avery, I just want you to take just a little bit. Okay, all right. You know what? I wish he was like this with chores at home where he just take the initiative to go how ahead much, and do the chores. You're gonna do about a half a teaspoon okay. um, on the 
we have the these are let me explain what this is first hold on these are just regular you know you can get them in your local grocery store these are just regular lasagna noodles regular. yes regular, regular lasagna, lasagna noodles lasagna. there's nothing fancy about it so yeah. Yeah, and of course with teens it doesn't have to be fancy as long as it tastes good. But these are just regular lasagna noodles that you pre-cook and really you get absolutely it's gonna taste good because your mom made it. Okay. Let Never we'll go against see. that. We'll see about that. <laughs> okay. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take just a little bit just and little you're gonna bit. put just maybe about a half a teaspoon. It's about that much right there. Right, you're gonna take about a half a teaspoon and place it on your pocket. Put place it on your noodle. And Avery, let me give you a little assistance here. You're just going right, to spread it out okay. just a little bit. And I'm going to let Avery take over this. And when I tell you that um, I'm just so glad to have him in the kitchen with me. Um, and when he was younger, he loved to, you know, always cook with me. So now I don't know why it's such a, I'm having such a hard time it's getting him time. in the kitchen it's now. <laughs> and most teenagers are lazy. I'll, I'll tell you this. When Avery was born, I already knew it. Am now he's not... Absolutely, you're doing it right. It's okay. It's not really a perfect way to do it as long as you get a little bit on there. Uh, when Avery was a little boy, uh, Avery loved to help me. Loved to help me in the kitchen, loved to help me around the house, and now it's like pulling teeth, trying to get him <laughs> to help me around the kitchen. Even now, you know, he's not saying much right now. However, Avery's voice is very, very deep. Even as a baby, I knew that Avery had a deep voice. I was praying. I was praying that, you know, it would it, it wouldn't change and that he wouldn't you know he wouldn't get to that that level of that squeakiness but that, it never changed remember that old man voice he, he had an old man but you can tell them about that he had an old man voice he can't do it anymore i think it was maybe around uh, was 12 like, yeah. or 13 years oh, old and it started to it, his voice started cracking a little bit and then that's when this deep um barry white type voice came in and it, it never left <laughs> So, you know, he, he, he's definitely matured, you know, over the years. Uh, I've been trying to get him to uh, join the male choir because his voice is so deep. However, you know, he doesn't think that he can sing. I think you have a wonderful voice. I don't know how to sing. <laughs> You know what? I don't think at, at this point when you're in church, they just don't care as long as the spirit is high. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's true. Absolutely. Okay. So now that we have Avery's done a great job of spreading our ricotta <laughs> on our noodles. So now we're just going to take just one teaspoon of the, the turkey, um, turkey meat and place just a little dab. You don't need much because you don't want it to slide. Okay, we're not talking about that type of dab. <laughs> we're talking about the dab from the spoon. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't know if Andre Avery even thinks that I'm cool anymore because, um, you know, I don't know teen a cool slang. Person, a cool person doesn't say the word cool. Just, it, it's just, See, I'm it's just that simple. I'm not cool. I'm not cool. I think my food is cool. You know, especially when he's eating, my food is cool. No, it's, not, it's actually hot. Because it has to be heated up. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about in that way. I'm talking about it's good. So your mama can cook. Yeah. Let's go with that. <laughs> go with that. You know, and it's it's not gonna. It doesn't take long. Like once we get ready for these to go in the microwave, it's gonna take about about 10 to 15 minutes, or until they um, cook to golden brown. But this is gonna this is gonna be the fun part. But what we're gonna do as we continue to assemble these, we're gonna take another uh, quick break, and I'm gonna have Avery to go ahead and put the cheese on these, and oh. we're gonna show you what they look like right before they go into the oven. So okay. make sure you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay. Come on.
we're back and when I tell you now I think I feel just like Avery I'm getting a little hungry especially assembling these you know Avery's done an awesome job so what I want to do now is show Avery how I assembled the lasagna pocket so you know when I'm working late he can go ahead and he can put this together and he'll have a complete meal so Avery this is really really simple and you see how I did this one you know Avery's really really good at science uh, he's really good at putting things together so <laughs> so this right here should be really easy for him but what I did I have an assembled pocket okay. and it, it, it doesn't doesn't take rocket science to figure this out it but all I did it shouldn't you're absolutely right sweetie so all I did was just take and I, and I folded the noodle Okay. I folded all four sides and what I did I just did like almost like wrapping it wrapping a, a blanket or wrapping a baby in a blanket a gift. Yeah. Like wrapping a Christmas gift Avery. Absolutely. So all I did and I just like to press the sides to make sure that they don't open And we're gonna do something else right before we put them in the oven But I want Avery to um, do this one while I work on this one as, as well Okay, Avery I want to know since you're my, my baby's graduating this May. I'm so excited. Matter of fact, I feel like doing a holy dance right now because it's been a long 18 years. <laughs> so, Avery, can you tell me what it is that you want to do once you graduate? I want to go to the military. And I am so a drill sergeant. excited. He wants to become a drill sergeant. <laughs> he likes to be in control, ladies. <laughs> Yes, he does. But right now, I'm not getting much out of you. I think I may have you on the show again. No, no, no. It's not that. It's not that I don't, not that I don't want to be on the show. I have seen your stuff. And yeah. Oh, I, yeah. He's yeah. focused, ladies. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy. Don't, don't get me wrong. I am happy. I've been praying. I've been running around the church. You know, I've been thank you, Jesus. Um, and I, hey, I thank you right now, Lord. I thank you because he's on, he's on his way out the door. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> Avery did a great job on these pockets and I'm going to show you absolutely you did a great job sweetie I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do now we're going to take a little bit of ricotta and we're just going to put just a little and this is your choice you don't have to put the ricotta on it but I, I like cheese so I'm going to put just a little of the ricotta on top and then we're going to top that with mozzarella cheese so Avery you actually you can do that and this just give it just a creaminess I like you know the are we going to put the cheese on top yes I like the the top of it to be you know just as flavorful as it is on the inside yes you can just put a little cheese on the top actually you can put more I love cheese so I'm going to put more on mine than than what Avery has right now and I'm just going to finish the top of this okay well that that one let that one be yours and this one be mine oh okay yeah. so I, he's already staking claim on his like most of the thing and, it, and it's like at even at home if I have something to eat or if it's Avery mine. have something to eat it tastes better mine tastes better because it comes from it doesn't even have to be different it can be the same thing it tastes better when mom has it <laughs> I don't know what it is but he's always been like that even as a baby so when you when you go to the military what branch are you going to I want to go into the army going to the army I am so excited guys that he's going to the military he's deciding to do this this is something that I prayed for you know that he's made a decision on what he wanted to do so what are you gonna do in the in the army uh, I want to be a weapon specialist weapon but specialist. I also want to go in there to become a drill sergeant so I can you know test my leadership skills <laughs> Well, you know what? I can tell. I can tell you, as your mom, you have dynamic um, leadership skills. One thing I want to correct: um, during the break, I think I said that these were going in the microwave. They're going to go in the oven. They're going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about um, 10 to 15 minutes, or until they um, turn golden brown. But what I'm going to do? I'm going to add a little bit more cheese, Avery. I'm a little extra. A little bit more cheese. Oh, just a little bit more cheese. Oh. I like to be a little extra. And these are going to turn out great. I promise you. Not just kids, teens. Your um, you can fix this like for like a, a little gathering that you're having at your house or just for any occasion or something that's really really quick that you want to pop in the oven and doesn't take a lot of ingredients. So what we're, we go. okay, it looks it's good. It's perfect. Yeah, it is perfect. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take another break and we're gonna pop these in the oven and let these um, brown and we're gonna show you the finished product when we t return back. So make sure you stay tuned. Don't touch your dial. We'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna get these back in the oven. This is going to be good. 
This is Nisi from the Church Ladies Cooking Show, and I want to tell you about the fact that we're moving up. We now have the Church Ladies Network. You need to go to www.thechurchladies1.com for more details and so much more. We're looking for content. So pastors, if you have a sermon, um, singers, soloists, if you have a song that you just got to get out, you need to go to our website. Again, it's www.thechurchladies1.com. If you have just something spiritual to, to talk about, or if you just have any type of Christian content, we want you on our network for the entire year of 2020. There's no fee, there's no charge. It's just so simple. Make sure that you go to our website again at www.thechurchladies1.com and make sure you get the information so we can make sure that you're on our network. You got to tell everybody about the new Church Ladies Network. Tell your family, your friends. You know, when your pastor tell you to tell your neighbor, make sure you tell them about the Church Ladies Network. Make sure you send us our, you send us your content. We can't wait to upload your upload anything that you have that might be just the next big thing. So we can't wait till you join Join us. Make sure you go to our website again at the www.thechurchladies1.com. We can't wait to see you on our network. Hi, and we're back. And I'm like Avery. I'm so hungry, and the kitchen smells so good. Okay, our lasagna pockets are ready. Are you ready to eat? Yes, I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry too, but I, I lasagna pockets are ready. They are hot. I usually like to let them sit for about five minutes um, to let them cool because you don't want to serve them, especially to young kids. I know with the teenagers, they're ready to eat as soon as they come out the oven. I don't However, I burn my mouth. <laughs> that's not a good thing. You won't be able to go to service and do some praise and worship. You got, your, you got a mouth that they got some issues. <laughs> that's <at least> <laughs> Okay. My stomach will not change. Okay. All right. Well, he's ready to eat, and I am ready to eat as well. But what I like to do, you know, I'm a little extra. I like to put a little um, garnish, and this is just uh, some uh, parsley flakes that I like to put on top because I like to be fancy. You know, my son likes me to sprinkle like this. <laughs> I still don't know to this day what that means, but I'm sure you know, young people, y'all know exactly what that means. But hey, no further ado, it's we're gonna go ahead and it's eat. A joke. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, well, again, you know, let these cool a little bit. And I'm going to let Avery go ahead and try this. And they smell so good. I wish you guys could smell this. This smells really, really good. But again, these are so simple to make um, for your teens. It could be for anyone. Do you have to use a fork? Absolutely. We're going to use a little etiquette today. You know, uh, in other words, he, you know, he probably eat with his hands, but I really want him to, to, to show everyone what it looks like. And I want to give you guys a, just a close up of while he's tearing into that, um, what the finished product looked like. This is just really, really simple. Something that, you know, you can fix for anyone. A big boy piece. Yeah. He got a big boy piece. <laughs> Well, it's so good. I, you know, I can't wait for him to try this. And then, you know, personally, I like to put like a little sauce. I'm a sauce girl, so I love to have sauce, a little extra sauce on mine. So what you think? <laughs> right now, he is speechless, so that means that it must be really good. So how did mama do? He did I. <laughs> Just all right? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Good. Make sure that you go to our website at www.thechurchladies1.com for this recipe. Um, plenty of kitchen tips and so much more. Avery, it was so good having you here today. But you know what? I want you to stick around a little bit because you know what? I think, you know, you did so well today. As I want to have you for food. another show. As long as there's food. Typical teenager. As long as it's food, he'll come and help his mom. You did work today. So, um, you know, you, you're getting your, your reward. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that he decided to join me today. Again, make sure you go to our website. Our website is www.thechurchladies1.com. You know, Sister Patterson, uh, Deacon Wilson, your first lady, your, uh, your pastor. Make sure that you tell everybody, everybody that you know about the Church Ladies Cooking everybody. Show. Everyone. Your uncle, your nephew, your cousins, <laughs> your sister. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> Okay, he had it. He got it said. Again, www.thechurchladies1.com. Again, you can find recipes, kitchen tips, and we have so much fun here. I'm so glad my baby was here with me today. Make sure you tune in for the next episode of the Church Ladies Cooking Show. Every tell them bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you can go ahead and finish eating. It's time.